Okay. Can I start or? Uh, yeah, I did, but um, it's like my computer still is saying that it's just. Like, it's not acting like it's hardwired. Does that make sense? Yes. Babe, can you put the... I am not getting up right now. Why do you need to get up? I don't know. What do you want me to do? Put the correct video on for me, please. You can't do that. I'm sharing out. <laughs> right there. That was the one I was just on, Dork. Alright, let's see if this one works any better. Thank you, Diz. All right. Where did my stitch marker go? Mm -mm. Babe, do you see my stitch marker? Mm -mm. It's blue. Nope. It's a blue gin. No! Ow! I'm in your bum. Right? But I'm not... I'm not getting it. Dang it, I need that. And I don't want to have to... Get out another one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, son of a biscuit. Alright, hold on y'all. Get to see me try to crawl up out of this dang place. Yeah. 
right there. <sighs> I guess I'll get a drink while I'm in there. What? Nothing. I want to watch that. That's going to be entertaining. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I found it. Found it. Really? Really? Yes. Really? Yes. So that is one. Yeah, I saw. Hey, True. How are ya? Welcome back. Took me a little bit to get the um, alteration on this pattern correctly. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. What you up to, True? I swear, freaking camera always adds, like, so much weight. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that. With the half double instead. What do you think? Yeah. It definitely doesn't look like it is quite so open. Nice. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad. All right, check the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 30. I think I have 31, but that is an easy fix. We'll go right here. And see, that is so much better. Oh, yeah, so much better. Okay.
Yep, that's right. Three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, I see what I have to do. All right, that's yeah, that's thirty. We'll have to. Actually, I think I can fix that Do right you now. Think, uh, what? Making the rolls and the cake Friday will be okay. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. You? Nice. Yeah, I think I know what was messing me up. Well, in the original pattern, they want me to chain and slip stitch. So I don't think I'm going to slip stitch or chain. We are on round five.
love, I hate saying it, but if you're in this and trying to get monetized just for the money, you it's not going to work out that way. It's really not. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, burst your bubble here or anything, but people that have thousands of freaking subscribers make nothing from YouTube. Unless you've got, you know, 5 million subscribers, you know, unless you are freaking Markiplier or something. It, One main Markiplier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't kill his dream yet. You know, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm just saying. You're being a Scorpio. Shut up. No, what I'm saying is you're going to be sadly mistaken when you don't start coming in with you know hundreds of dollars every month because it's just not going to work that way. I'll figure it out. Well, yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't know. I just don't want you to get your hopes up thinking that you're going to make a lot of money on YouTube. And then find out you're not. You know? Dude. He's just going to argue with me the way. Sweet. Well, I'm just saying, don't go into YouTube thinking that you're going to make money because it doesn't work out that way. I'm definitely not saying that it's not possible. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? I hear you there, Diz. I really do. I do. Just don't make it a, a focal point, I guess is what I'm saying. Hell, man, if you can make money online, no matter the platform, go for it. Go for it. See, Lyrical, you're crushing people. <laughs> Right. Now True's going to sit in his living room clutching his cat, crying and sobbing. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's not, I mean, Mikey had... No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with your goal at all. Not at all. I think it's great to strive for that. I just don't want to see you get your hopes up that, you know, you're going to make... A lot of money. Like I said, shut up while you're ahead. <sighs> Alright, so this is five. I need... Yes, you do, True. You know you do. I need my counter. And I'm using that one. Told ya. All right. See, now that, that's a whole different thing that we are not going to get into. Um, you did it. Actually, no, I didn't, but... No, I didn't. Hey, Diz, I got that, um, 
I got some more stuff in for diamond painting. I need to you find... What, the diamond painting? Yeah. Yeah, he knows what diamond painting is. Yeah, you're talking about that on my thing. Yeah, he knows what diamond painting is. I was hoping I'd have one of those here, but I don't. One day, Miracle will learn to shut up while she's ahead. Today is not that day. Oh, I know. You're fine. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm going to have to keep my uh, thing in here. Mountain Dew ice cream. Dude, did you cook pizza? Pizza cooking butthead? What? Nothing. He cooked pizza and now the whole kitchen smells like pizza and it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where is it? It's the crochet studio. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, new project since you know it's being a pain in my arse. What is this? No, so can I just get it off my thing patterns? No, so mini bag. Import pattern. <laughs> All I need is just a freaking stitch counter. I don't care about premium. Why not? I thought you had your clickety one. I don't. I have that one, but I'm using that for uh, a different project that I can't get rid of. So, as you see, pattern right here with the stitch counter, I mean the row counter, right there. Oh, so what I was saying, I can't wait. To get the rest of my stuff in tomorrow for the diamond painting. But I got this in today. I am so happy. This is just another storage case. Scott. No, actually, they're butterflies. These are butterflies. Think. Yeah, there's butterflies there's on here. Sword. Yeah, those are butterflies. And they are not. Yeah. Not parrots. Not parrots. P A R R O O T, I think. Not O O, but yeah, P A. Say that. Yep. So this is what it looks like. Have all of these here. And then when you unzip this, it's got two more rows of these. Down here. Oh man, I can't wait. I can get the rest of my stuff. Hopefully get a bunch more. Um, yes. Yep. P-A-R-O-T. Correct. On my way. That's what he said. On my way. <laughs> Although I think I think where where he's from that in, that means oh my word. I've heard it both ways. Yeah, I have too. I'm used to it being as on my way, like on my way home.
but I got that, got that in today. I do look forward to, uh, getting the, um, oh, what do you call it? The book for the, for the, uh, canvases to store my canvases. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. I saw it as a typo. <laughs> I read it as um. There we go. Okay, you need to either move that fan or do something here, babe. You're hogging all the air. I am the air hogger. Yeah, I can tell. You love sitting right in the trajectory of that air. I figure you have enough hot air. You're doing good. <sighs> I love how this is like, it starts off with kind of a white and then it goes where it looks like it's kind of dirty and now it's in the light blue. Oh. That's so cool. All the air for myself. I know, damn hog. Wow. Fan hog. Beesh. Now you, yeah, she turned the fan up. It's like on the other side of the room. It's annoying though, we can always turn it down. Yeah, if it's too bad, just let us know. I'm just sitting here thinking if the fan's too high. Holy cow, I think we just saw a cow. That was the same cow. <laughs> you know that they're making another stupid twister, mm -hmm. maybe. Dumbasses. Cool. I love 
the texture of this thing. I know. It's like one of those Ashmere things, you know, where it feels good. Mm-hmm. And the sensory level is in your head. Yeah, it's weird. I was going to say, I know I had 30 in here. Zero, how are ya? the true Diz. I was like, there's a <laughs> fake Diz? <laughs> nice. I'm doing alright. Thank you. Not too bad. Have your uh, amethyst. I have mine, yeah. Can I see it, please? I know mine has got to be around here somewhere. Is that what fell off the couch the other night? No. What did? It? it was, uh, I think, the Q tips. That's nice. I think. Maybe we should clean up under the table and we'll find it. Yeah, we will. I am on one. Row eight. Round eight. Why do you need to see one? Because I want to see it. What else are we putting in here? Star anise, lavender, amethyst, thyme. Tiny bit of salt, but not more. Hmm. That would come out way too easy. Mm hmm. Some charms, if I find some. I think they just look on mine first. Okay.
So let me see your amethyst real quick, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bro, sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Didn't mean it like that. Mm -hmm. I should have uh, my lavender in there from the cookies, right? That's what we're using. That's why we didn't have to buy it. Might want to grab me that too, if you don't mind. If I do, please. Whew. Oh man, I just got a whiff of that. Very, very licorice. I just kind of want to, you know, let people see what we're sticking inside of these. Zero probably understand it over. Yes, Zero probably will understand it a lot more than uh, what everyone else will. Nightmare on Elm Street? That's mm. a good movie, dude. It is a good movie, but I will pass on that. <laughs> Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, now it's recognizing that it's hardwired. What's up, Dad? Sure, he saw an ant. <laughs> oh, I got an ant, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible, Dad. By the way, you're in trouble. You made the whole smell smell like pizza, and now I want some. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't, I don't exactly like licorice myself. Oh God, black um, licorice is shit. Oh, I can't stand black licorice. I'm probably more inclined to do like... I do red. <laughs> yeah, to do like red licorice where it's like like a strawberry or even a mild cherry. Well, I'll show you in a minute, Zero, and I'm sure you will understand right away I'm sure you'll understand what it is that we're doing. So I'm just waiting for Heather to get me the rest of this stuff. So These little bags that I'm that I'm making, because I'm making one for her, and then I'm doing a different pattern from for myself. Um, these little bags would be great for anything, for like like crochet tools, such as you know, like a small pair of scissors or um, some needles, some stitch markers. Um, it could go for that kind of thing. It could go for dice for like D and D. It can go for just like little knickknacks and stuff. I mean, it could go for everything. Thank you. Yeah, I'll find mine. I know I put it in here. So, oh yeah, um, we're definitely going to have to line it. Basil or bay leaves. Mm -hmm. Just a little spring of that. And sage? I thought yeah. you said thyme. I have thyme, I just need to find it. Okay, so... We'll get in the TARDIS and figure it out. What we are going to be doing... I have five pieces of amethyst. That we are... So we're going to make loop for you, Dad. Yeah, that we are putting in. So... We need amethyst. We need... Lavender. I have real lavender here. Um, we'll be putting in some bay leaves, some sage. We'll be putting in thyme as well. As in, you know, the herb. Yes, it is. It's very good for healing. Um, sage is good for plants, 
cleansing. Sage is very good for cleansing. But then I have, this is what I was holding. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh huh. And I have uh, star anise. So this is where the licorice smell is coming from because anise is pretty much licorice. But I have... A bag of star anise. It helps with deep sleep, apparently. What, bay leaves? Time. Time? Star anise is for anti-nightmare. So, yeah. We have a bunch of different herbs that we're going to put in. We've got some amethyst that we're putting in. Oh man, you guys couldn't even see that. Let me show you. I'm so sorry. Well, I can't. I, I it's like I can't really see it from here, so I don't quite know, like the distance until I actually see it on the screen. You know what I'm saying? So, we've got some time. I mean, from a star in these, which. They look really cool. But, um... That's a bunch, you know, pretty much the stuff that we're going to be putting in here. Uh, let me give you that back. Are you in my pants again? You are. Oh, no, these are my pants, thank you. You are in No! Walmart, I'm teasing you. Yeah, so we just, we have uh, quite a bit of stuff. So I'm pretty sure you've got an idea what's going on here, Zero. Probably not. If you don't, I mean, feel free to message me. So. You might have some advice. And that, that's true. That's true. You might actually have some advice, too. Sounds like potion supplies. Close enough. Um. Yes and no. Not really. It's what we're making. You know, we're making herb bags. That's what we're going to be using these for. Helps people sleep better. So it's basically to help with sleep. Um. I'm finding some things that I'm going to add. Tell you the total before I even tell you. Okay. Yeah. Basically, it's just to help us sleep better and. All of that stuff. So, a little sleep yeah, there are dream a dream pillow. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. No. But these bags were, you know, perfect size for you know what we're trying to do, and they're adorable. For one thing. Hers is actually different than mine, so at least the bag. But we're putting in pretty much the same the same stuff. So I want to try to get these bags lined with something that that way the herbs aren't falling through the holes in the bag because that would be bad. <laughs> Wake up and have herbs all over your bed is not going to be uh, mm -hmm. kosher if you ask me. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what we are turning these bags into. But these bags can be, like the bags themselves, the pouches, can be used for whatever, anything. What? I do need to look up a couple beads because I want a couple beads for my pouch. And I figured I would try to see if maybe we couldn't put a couple beads on, on yours. Do you know what I'm saying?
Yes. Yeah. Kind of like a medicine bag, but not really. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We can talk more about it, like, off stream, if you'd like. I don't mind at all. I mean, I could, you know, kind of tell you what is going on. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are we serious? I even have a little medicine bag that only contains tiny hammers. Yeah, exactly. Yup. Exactly. That's exactly. Fun. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the little wooden beads. I just need something smaller. You know, something to put on, like, the tie. Because I'm not, um, I mean, as much as I would love to go with, like, a leather tie, I don't really want to do that just for one bag. You know what I'm saying? Um... Here, let me uh, let me show you the ones that I was looking at. Um, Cause see, I would love to do it like this. If you if you see that, oh my god, that would be amazing! It's only five dollars. Okay, look at that. Um, I'm trying to find the picture that had it with the beads on it. I don't know. Oh, here you go. Can you see that? Yeah. So, okay, here. Let me let me turn that over to you. Wait, you see my sexy feet? No. See? No. Do you see this? That's yeah. what I'm looking for. I, I that's what I would really like to do for both of these bags is put on, you know, a little bead like that on the end. Of the tie. Because I think that would look adorable. Either Native American or Mexican origin. Can't remember which. Because. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean it. Yeah. Pretty much. I think this would actually be good. This 15 COVID at 10% coupon. Alright. Because this is not wood, but it is. Yes! Those are stone. That is. But are these going to be... God, my hands smell like licorice now. True was chipped out of sexy feet. PS5 controller? <laughs> That would be nice, but then I kind of wonder if... Oh, wait. Okay, so that's Jasper. That's Picasso Jasper. But is Jasper going to work with this? Well, look at my chart. Nice. <laughs> um, the colors... Actually, I had picked up and the flamingo checking out your butt. <laughs> oh. Damn you, flamingo. My butt. No, the flamingo's checking out my butt. It's, t it's saying to stay wild. Remember, I got this in, uh, in Florida, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I use it for some of my stuff. I know it, it's like all backwards, but yeah. I got that in Florida. I thought it was cute. But as for the yarn, I'm using I'm using cotton, a cotton based yarn. Um, this shade is denim, but this is what she chose. Um, a while ago, I think it was like, what, sometime last year, sometime last year, I found a bunch of these little skeins on sale for like a dollar twenty five. And for a freaking skein of yarn, that's really good. 
However, they're only 50 grams. So this is one that I used. This is the same thing. Um, but this is one that I used for our friend's um, dragon scale bag that I made her. And I only got two of these. And as you can see, her dragon scale bag only didn't even use a whole... <clears throat> sorry, a whole skein. But for a 50 gram skein of uh, yarn, a dollar twenty-five. Seriously, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Whoa! Hi! She exploded. Mm -hmm. Oh God! <laughs> but I got two in that color over there. No, Jasper will be dead. Trust me. Jasper is good. Yeah, my okay. Problem is we're gonna have to pick and choose what's in this. Yes, I know. Um, but I picked up this one as well when I was there. Well, when I was looking. And I picked up, um, I picked up a, a, a These are a lot like me, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Thank you. I picked up that one. I don't know where the other went. I first it. Yeah, you did. You totally exploded. I don't know where my other one went. I have another... Oh, wait, I think I put it over there. I have another different type of a blue that was kind of a little more colorful. Um, I think it kind of had, like, the blue and greens and that kind of a mixture. And then I found some solid ones. And... Here's my solid. So, this one feels a little bit different than what this one does, but... I haven't gotten to work with this one, so I picked up a couple of purple, and then Heather actually found some, what, I guess a couple weeks ago? Something like that? Mm -hmm. That are more pinks and stuff, but they are... Yeah. I think they're a lot more like this, but just in a different color scheme. Is that the peaches and cream one? Yeah, it's the peaches and cream stripey. Yeah, that's the ones that I got. One like yeah. pink and yellow and fun colors. Yeah, yeah. So, she did want me to make her bag and, and the ones that she got, but then she saw blue. the two blues that I have. Yeah, I do like that purple. I do. Um, But yeah, she saw the two blues that I have, and she was like, nope, I want that instead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like the purple too. That was why I kind of got two of the purple because I can totally see something like that. And you know, for doing for doing projects like like these little bags and stuff, man, these skeins are perfect. They're perfect. They're the perfect size. I love the feel of them. They are nice and soft. Even for a cotton, they're just, they're really soft. Not as soft as, like, some of the other yarns I've used, but I like it. I like it. I mean, granted, they're a four-weight yarn, which means a four-ply, a four -ply, so they... What are you doing? What? So basically, in this strand, there's... It doesn't smell so good and taste so horrible. What do you mean, taste horrible? You mean licorice. Oh, I know. I don't... Mm -mm. So, like, just in this, there's actually four strands of yarn in this. And that's what makes it a four-ply or a four-weight. This is probably going to be on the... Yes. Yes. Hey, love, how are you? Holy cow. Susie! Hello, G4. I mean, GV, how are you? Don't insult G4 like that. <laughs> yep. 
yeah, it's basically for a four weight or four ply. It's just, you know, it's your, how many strands of yarn that are actually making up what you're doing. What have you been up to, Susie? I heard that thing. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. I uh, had some more testing done, and we've got some results back. But, um. Well, Susan's calling you a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, you know, good things, but it's not like horrible if that makes sense so me no. me That's sick. and we're working on you too so oh, okay so yeah <sighs> we're here you know what this is only supposed to take a couple hours and it's taken me so much longer. But look at how many times I've stopped. Honestly, I'm just glad that I can sit here and crochet again. I've been doing this now for, what, I guess about three weeks straight now. So I'm, I'm really happy. For a long time, I couldn't, I couldn't crochet. But come on, you know me. I gotta crochet. I've gotta be doing some sort of crafts. I'm gonna be getting back into uh, my diamond painting. Speaking of diamond painting, I am not sure I will continue doing that on stream. That's kind of up in the air right now. However, with the pink owl that I was doing I am going to go ahead and finish that. Oh, how did it go? Hopefully everything went well. So do I. Trust me, I have a room full of freaking kits. And it seems like I keep getting more and more and more, like gifted and stuff. And, oh man. But yeah, I do want to finish up my, uh, my pink owl, but I'm going to do that off stream. And when I'm done with it, I will definitely show you guys what happened. Oh, good. Oh my God. That is so good. I am so happy to hear that. So happy to hear. 
Ya. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I've got two guy two people that want me to continue with it on stream. I mean, I I haven't I haven't ruled it out yet. It's, you know, I'm still really thinking about it. But for now, for now, I think, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to leave it off stream. Oh, man. Well, that's three people that want me to continue on stream. Well, I will definitely, I'll definitely take all of that into consideration. What? And you? Yeah. You want me to continue on stream too? Yep. Oh it's my goodness. My oh, bite me! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so Heather found me. Heather, if you look in that box, will you grab me the th Oh OBS is being a pain. Alright. God, I hate getting out of this couch. Right? <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's the blue. See, Tree's here for all the right reasons. I'm only here because I heard the word pizza. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. Here's the other blue one. Sorry. That's the other blue that I had. But Heather found this online, and she got it for me. I don't know why. My foot is stuck. I don't know how much of that you guys can see, you know, with, like, the glare and all. But this is the newest in my collection. Some odd shaped beads I saw. Yeah, here's here's the newest one in my collection. Which I absolutely fell in love with it. It's it's new for me. Right? Right? Totally. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's a 3D diamond painting it's it's a yeah i hear you there i totally hear you there so here is what there's 11 colors in the, in this one so i'm not sure how well you guys can see let me just pour some out so I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. But these are how the first six colors are. Ah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Does that work any better? It's better than it's blurry. Yeah. Let me see if I can just get, like... Yeah, so that's how the first six colors are all like that. Right? So that's that's pretty normal. That's a pretty basic, you know, shape with beads. For the most part.
But then you get to numbers 7 through 11. Here's 7. Oh, wow. Still want to do starting night as well. Right? So, here's color 7. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just bring one up. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure. All I can see is true spilling a whole jar of those <laughs> in my head going, well, fuck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so then here's color seven, which is so weird. They're just oblong shaped. I plan. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Eight is even weirder. I do enjoy those episodes. Right? Aren't they? Like, Here's like, eight. Tell her if she wants to look at them. They're called 5D diamond paintings. 5D? I think. Let me look I up thought it was just I 3D. Up. I'm trying to see what I looked up. Shush. <laughs> So here's color eight. I mean, it's just, they're crazy. And, and they send you with a normal dabber. So it's almost like, how in the heck am I supposed to use the dabber? Yeah, it says 5D. 5D? Okay, so it's 5 def. 5D yep. diamond painting. Yeah, I've never done one of these before. So I, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Here's nine. Here's one I want to do. They have multiples that are like that. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. So hmm. it's just, it's crazy. Now, just wait till you see the last one, right? All right, number 10. Oh. That's End of the month, crazy. love. Oh, too bad. Zero nine, you're going to see that. Oh, my God. I want. Try to show it to chat. It's only five ninety nine. So here's here's ten. It's not bad. Five ninety nine. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one, this one was pretty cheap. It was it was, what nine bucks? Mm -hmm. It wasn't even ten bucks for this one. Right now. See here's the kicker. Check this one out. Where's your camera? Hold on. This is this is number eleven. This is the last one. But check that out. I mean, for real? Between him and Sue, I like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean how insane is that? These are gonna be so much fun to to do. Like that's totally insane. Ah. Right? <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but this is the one that Heather just found. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. It looks a lot like Sapphire. God, that's hard to see. Oh, let me see. Is there a way? Tilt it. No, sapphire, sapphire is a beautiful blue. I think it's an angle. I'm trying, I'm trying to Ooh, see. I have an idea, actually. Give it. What? 
Right? Right? Oh man, I wish you guys that. hold it like this. I turned down the brightness. So oh, okay. Yeah, that could have been like it. A flatter towards the camera. Yeah, I'm not up here yet. That's better. There you go. Sort of. There you go. A little. That's <laughs> it. No, actually, that's a lot better. But this is the one that I I want to do next, or get next. I mean, how beautiful is that? It does look it's gorgeous and that beautiful deep purple it doesn't show it here but it's like so rich in purple it's gorgeous I like it. yeah right zero right <laughs> I'm sorry I can't help it <laughs> Oh my god! I love it! Yeah. Stop! <laughs> no, I found it. See, uh, but see, there's nothing wrong with butterflies. I love butterflies. I mean, hello? I just got this in today. I mean, it's just a story. Tech. He has dish towels that are butterflies. I have Star Wars dish towels. So what? So what? I mean, I've got butterflies on this. I mean, really? Butterflies are amazing, dude. For real. Yes. I love it. Yes. Oh my god. Fucking stop, Internet. Stop it. <laughs> stop showing me pretty things. It's so mean. Right? They're gorgeous. Why not? And so peaceful. Oh my god. I love it. Butterflies aren't peaceful. They eat their mates after a while. Dude. Having them fluttering about? For real. They're beautiful. They're trying to taste you. They are pretty. They might be pretty. I'm going to open them up and it's pissing me off. But look at it. The kitty cat with the starry night behind it. Wait a minute, kitty cat. Right there. Right, that's not like a, a cat, it's a fox. fox. See, that's why I needed to come up, because it looks like a cat in the face, but then the rest of it looks... No, cool. it's a fox, but that one's adorable, right? I don't care if it's a kitty cat. Now it's a kitty cat. <laughs> oh, sweet! I'm oh, sorry, I've got skulls in my in my car, so, I mean... Nice. I mean, hello, oh, skulls, God. skulls... <laughs> And see, there's nothing wrong with that. I I love butterflies. I just have skulls. What can I say? I mean, shoot, my freaking soap dispenser dispenser in the bathroom is a giant skull. A black skull, by the way. It's because you're weird. Damn, Gotham me. I would rather have a parrot that knew how to cuss as well as I do. Kind of glad I don't have one that knows half the things I say. Right? Oh, God, we'd be shit out of luck right there. Pixel parrot would be great. Okay, boys and girls, I'm not going to cuss on my channel anymore. Frank, God damn it. Be like, no, oh, stop that. Off. <laughs> no. Have them at the shop. <laughs> My virgin. Mickey, ears. yeah. I have I've seen so many adorable Mickey diamond painting kits. They have I mean just Disney period. You know, there's so many adorable kits out there. Oh, sweet. You know what? You know what? Ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted a wolf. Like, a real-life wolf. I wanted a wolf. And, unfortunately, they are illegal to have here. 
Um, my ex-husband, his, his aunt had, oh yeah, I would love to. My ex-husband, his aunt, um, used to have a, uh, a wolf hybrid. And, man, you are talking about one of the most gentle, oh my god, yes! <laughs> they do, oh my god, right? They really do, Zero. But he was, he was so gentle. He would sit there and literally, like, not even be standing all the way and just on the screen door, you could see him poking over the screen door. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I think the closest that I'll ever get to a wolf is going to be a husky. But, oh man, he was this dog, and I remember him. I remember him. He was the sweetest thing. So mild-tempered and just absolutely precious. He was very protective. Very, very protective. <laughs> But he was a doll baby. So sweet, well mannered. But yeah, I would love to have a wolf. Right? I love huskies. My son had gotten his ex wife a husky. Who, by the way, was named Zero because she was a uh, fanatic. Um, so she named her dog Zero. And when they broke up, when they broke up, she ran off with with the dog, with Zero, and, uh, then decided that she wasn't going to take care of him properly and allowed him to run out the door, and it killed him because he got hit. He ran out in the road because she wasn't paying attention. She wasn't raising him or treating him right. Poor thing was only about a year and a half old. I actually forgot all about that order. What? I forgot about that order. Isn't that crazy? Yes. You talking about your son's whore ass ex? Yep. Oh. And what she did to Zero? She killed Zero? No, come back, Zero. Oh. Yes, I know their dog. I don't know what that is. It seriously looks like a cat fox. It's a fox. I know. It's a fox. It looks like a cat. ACP Dowling. discount? What's that? Dowling. Oh, I didn't know that there was uh, one. Yeah, there was one. Okay. That's some bullshittery. Tell me about it. Hey, we're in the government. Let's take away everything that helps the people. Blah, blah, blah. Because it's not doing them any good, so why should it matter? But you know what? We are not going to get into that here. <laughs> nope. Discount you get for internet, $30 off if you don't see. Yeah, I didn't even know anything about that. Wow. 
we pay uh, quite a bit here. And it's the only one we can use. Yep. It's, there's only... See, there's two internet providers here. That's it. And apparently, because of where we are, you can either go with Optimum, which is what we have, or you can go with AT&T, which will only give you, like, half the freaking speeds and stuff that you would need. So, apparently, they go off of how many people in said area is with said company. Oh, well, you can't switch because we're already full of people. We're, we're at our max on customers at that area. Because of the brand left, it's a layer. So, yeah. Heather, this is looking awesome. Sweet. Yeah, poor poppers. I mean, I was pissed. When I, when I saw that, when I heard that, that that happened, I was pissed because, yeah. Actually, zero. You're disabled, correct? You're disabled. You should be able to qualify for a companion, aka an emotional support pet. Every state's different, though. But he should, with being on disability, he should qualify for that. And then they don't have to make him pay any deposits. Which means... Which means you should be exempt from pet deposits. You should legally be allowed to have said pet even in a no pet home. But he's talking about food and stuff for it too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Food and medical care. Yeah. I say a state doesn't pull that out. Really. That's true. That's true. See, that's, that's what my cat is. We have two cats. Heather has Freya, and I have Cleopatra, and... I'm showing them pictures. Of yeah, them. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, but Cleo is my, uh, companion pet. I thought I was your companion pet. Well, different kind of companion pet, darling. You're my favorite companion pet. Yay! Food can be really expensive. Right? So if I would have actually sat there and concentrated solely on just doing this, this would have been done already. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I'm loving the, you know, the colors that are being pulled from it. I love how they how they fall and lay together. I know around here if you have issues trying to take care of your pet, there's I believe that there are programs that can help you out with that too. Mostly uh, church-run programs, but, yeah.
Oh, wow. Two years ago, I started collecting those. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the cost of everything is just skyrocketed. Because I'm paying with large debt. Yeah, I I totally get it. I totally get it. I mean, true, that makes sense, you know? He means if you can't afford to support it, you shouldn't put your pet through that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Probably just work it wrong. No, and I know what he means. Yeah. I know what he means. If you can't afford to take care of a pet, then you don't need it, yeah. is what he's saying. Like I said, just got worried wrong. It's okay. Right, right. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, no, I get, I get what he's saying. Nothing wrong with that. No, I, I get what he's saying. <coughs> I want to make this. This looks awesome. How do you feel about bringing that to Easter? What is it? Just watch. <coughs> I'm not afraid. Um, okay. But what is it? Pretty much like a Stromboli thing. Oh, okay. See, when I got, when I got Cleo... And then about two and a half weeks later, we got Freya. They were both rescued. Um, to be honest, I wasn't having to pay nearly as much as what I am now. Thankfully, though, we are still able to supply and do yeah, give them the stuff that they need and. But <laughs> have you thought about like mice or hamsters or or anything like that? Because they're pretty easy to take to t uh, take care of too. They're not even that expensive. I had mice and cats at my apartment. In fact, we had, what, five mice and two cats? Mm -hmm. And really, with the mice, all you need to do is get their food. Yeah, a bird's not even that that expensive either. Um, I used to have a birdie. Aw, that sucks. That's some BS. Bro. Right? Well, 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 if he is on, like, hut yeah. housing. Yeah, they do. But that still sucks. Too. It does suck. It does. K, 
cats, dog, fish, birds, and pretty much nothing else. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. It just sucks. You know? Yeah, it does suck, but it does make sense. I'm actually surprised that they allow you to have birds because birds can be very noisy. Yeah, and low-income housing does have quite an extensive list of restrictions. So I I can get it. I I understand that. No, oh my goodness. Yeah, because they, they can get noisy. They can get very noisy. <coughs> but they, uh, I haven't ever gotten to personally, like, take care of a bird. But, um, my grandma had one. I used to have parakeets. Heather said she used to have parakeets and, Yeah. Three McCalls. Oh my goodness. And right now, all I want is a dog. I just want a dog. Oh wow. Yeah, I just want a puppers right now. <coughs> It's really bad because my apartment, when I moved in, we were allowed to have dogs. And then my neighbor, well, one of the neighbors there had a dog. You know, not like too big of a dog, but definitely not a, a small dog. I want a pirate parrot. <laughs> she, uh basically allowed that dog to destroy the apartment. And because of her, the landlord said, nope, dogs are no longer allowed. Nikki. Oh. Yep, so even a small dog, dogs were not allowed after that because she abused it. Well, with, with fish love, I would make sure that your tank is 100% okay for them to go into before you get fish. Work on your tank first. Aww. Yeah, this one was like, like, I don't exactly know what the breed was. I want to say it was a golden retriever. I want to say that's what he was. But man, he tore up the whole freaking apartment. Like the door. My God. Oh, oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, um, I grew up, my dad had like, what was it, like four 20-gallon tanks, 50-gallon tanks, something like that. And it was just insane. I go to visit my dad, 2016. He's prepping up another tank so that he could fill it up with fish. And he had like I don't know, eight, ten different types of fish that were all going into this tank. It was cool. I hadn't seen my dad take so much precise 
love and care since we had our dog. Aww. Aww. Oh, nice. Yeah, right? Right? It was just crazy. I'm going to say he had like, it was either 420 or 450 gallon tanks. I can't remember. Aww. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, he had them two by two. Oh, yeah, these were large. That's, that's what I'm saying. I, I want to say that they were 20-gallon tanks because they were huge. I think they ended up taking up, I don't know, Maybe a quarter of our uh, shop space. You remember the shop space, don't you? What? At my dad's? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, those things used to take up maybe a quarter of that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Huh? They were huge. Uh, it's five. I gotta think about the Oh my god, it's five already? Mm hmm. Here I am just rambling. <laughs> Haven't even gotten one bag done. We've gone off track so many times. Right? Oh my god, right? Those tanks can get severely heavy. South African leopard tortoise? Oh, nice. Oh, I bet. Well, tortoise right there. I mean... That's going to tell you it's going to be a big boy. Now, the people that lived next to us, well, lived next to my mom, they had pretty much everything you could imagine. No. They had horses, they had dogs, I want to say they had a cat, they had rabbits, and they had a freaking snapping turtle. No lie, they had a dang snapping turtle. But they had this pond that was like, I think it only went down to about 12 feet, I think it was about 12 feet deep. And they had a damn snapping turtle in there. Pond would freeze over. Everybody would be like, All right, be careful. Just don't go on the pond. Right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'd be worried about that, too. For sure. Yeah, 10 gallon is is pretty good. It's a good size. I think we had what See, I don't when I had mice I won't put them in a cage. I will never put them in a cage. Yeah, I can believe that. <coughs> I put them in a uh, in an aquarium. And we have what? I think we had a five gallon. 
Or was it a 10 gallon, Heather? But yeah, I'll put them in an aquarium. That's what I want to say. I think it was a 10 gallon. So, how are you liking your bag so far? It's nice. I like it. It's freaking huge, man. I didn't think it would be this big. Tis what she broke. That's right. Yeah, but I mean, rules are rules. Unfortunately, they have to go off of what state and government rules are too, so... <clears throat> 50 gallon terrarium yeah that makes sense I would love to sit there and have a frog one day It just sucks because I mean, hey, what whatever works, right? I'd love to have something like that because seriously, man, some of those reptile terrariums are even more gorgeous than what you can do with a fish with a fish tank. You know? Seriously, true. I want to see that terrarium. That would be amazing. I did not think that this bag would be this big. I really didn't. Then again, I probably should have stopped at like round 11 because technically I was supposed to like fold this in half. And I really didn't want to. So, nope. I'm good with this. I think this is an awesome size, really. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do next. I'll find that out in a minute. Yeah.
right. Where is it? Right here. Let's see what I'm doing. All I have to do is the drawstring. So I'm going to stop on this one because this is definitely big enough. <coughs> I'm going to put my scissors right there. Yeah, all I have to do is the drawstring. God, that looks amazing. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. I was hoping to actually get to mine too, but I got distracted. We started talking about everything else. Diamond painting and all sorts of stuff. And Alright. Alright, Heather. Yeah. I just need to get the uh Oh wow. All right, so all I would have to do, Heather, is get the uh, the beads. Hey, all I have to do is get the beads. Yeah, and then I will go ahead and do the tie. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to do that because I want to be able to get those beads onto the tie be before. Cool everything else. So guys, here is the first the first one. So, once we have the uh beads and stuff, it'll close up like this. If you guys can see that, let me see. It'll close up like that. So This is the first bag. I will be making a second bag. <coughs> Different pattern though, so. Wrong side. Wrong side. This next pattern is going to be a wee bit different. Quite a bit different, actually. So. I do need a much smaller hook. It's a three millimeter. And you know what? They want me to use a two and a half millimeter. I think I'll be good with a three millimeter. In fact, I might even make it a little bigger. So, let's put that up here. Oh, 
stuff fell out of there. I see. And my stuff fell. Let's put these away. Very gently. Put these away. I need to find like a better. Actually, I do have. Um, I do have some better wire that would probably look better. All right. Now, see, didn't even take a lot of yarn, and I love it. Doesn't take a lot. Quick and easy projects would have been done a heck of a lot sooner. But we kind of got off topic. We screwed around some. But that definitely is a project that you could get done in easily, easily an hour or two. Ouch. Easily. Now... Let's see. Let's see if I can't get mine done. Or at least start it. <clears throat> you know what? No, they're using a... F this has a two and a half millimeter. That's just... Alright. Alright. I'll do a two and a half millimeter. It just seems so tiny for me right now. And I'm using a three millimeter, so I guess that's what we're going to go with. When making the starting chain, you use a three millimeter hook, one size larger than the one you'll use for less. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right. Chain 49. I can do that. So, I can't believe it took that long just to get through one. That's just incredible. Alright. Sorry if you hear her snoring. Oh, nice. Hmm. 
Dude, why are we going so high? Cause that's only forty five. I guess I'll keep going to forty nine. Wait, maybe because you turn it this way. I am thinking. Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay. So, that's 49. Yeah, that's going to make it, that's going to make it roughly uh, the same size as Heather's. So, maybe even a little taller. Yeah, that works. I mean, hey, I can deal with that. I can most definitely deal with that. Work one single crochet and the second chain from the hook. <laughs> right? Oh. So that should bring me down to forty eight. Mm-hmm. Right? Right? No, I totally get that. Baby, it's 5.30. When do you want to start? Pretty soon. Okay. It's only leftovers, mostly. Well, you're making up the chicken, right? It's already made. Okay. This one's going to take a little more time. It's 
still say we could get it done in a couple hours. Two to three hours. Unfortunately, we will not be able to do it all in stream. Yeah, no, I I can't I can't blame you. Cool. Where did this? Projects. Oh, wow. No, not one. Okay. My son used to have goldfish. I think the... The one that I remember the most that he had, he named it Oscar. Or no, maybe it wasn't goldfish. It might have been beta. Yeah, I think it was a beta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if you eating them? <laughs> uh, now, I love koi. Hey, Heller. Push up. Am I fighting you? Not really. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I just... I have to do that. To get... A wee bit of relief. Nice. What? What? Nope, it just came back. It just came back.
Ugh. You know, I wish I could get back into PT. I know I need it. I need it desperately. So I'm going to have to start making some phone calls and finding out what the heck is going on here. Yeah, I know, I know. They gave me they gave me some exercises to, you know, keep doing and I'm doing them. I just I need more than what I can do at home. Because if I'm to be honest, my shoulder is stiffening up again and I really don't want that. I was doing so well, and I don't want to lose all of that progress just because, you know, my insurance wants to be a boob right now. But no, I've got, I've got some weights. Heather and Mom got me some weights, and I've got, uh, I've got, um, yeah, that's, that's always a good thing to do is to actually just continue with it. I've got, um, you know, a pulley system that I can use to if I really need it to. The goal is to keep moving. If I keep moving it, You know, that's going to be a lot better than not moving it at all and then losing all of that progress that we've done. And I don't want that. Wow, my stream was like 20 minutes behind. Yeah, I mean, a long time ago, I've gotten uh, the weight bands, but I've never used them. I don't really use them at home. But no, I've got I've got the pulley system, and I've got some. And I think like two or three pound weight weights that I can that I can use, and I know they're not that much, so. But when you don't have a strength in your hands or your arms, you've got to uh, start off slow, you know? Start off going low and work your way up to get all that strength back. I think when, when I had to stop in January, 
we had me back up to like 15 pound weights and that was heavy for me. I know that's really crappy, but that was heavy. It's not so much keeping him in shape, though, True. It's doing everything medically. I'm sadly severely limited with what I can do. So, we'll keep trying. Oh, that's too tight. That is not going to work. Yep, it does. It very much does. Um... That's why every once in a while, you know, you'll see me sit there and be like, okay, Heather, high five. You know, because we're trying to keep it so that I can, you know, stay up and do that stuff, you know. Um, yes, yes, exactly, exactly, Zero, exactly. And that's just not good. It's not good. It's not fun to to deal with. In fact, I can't even it okay, let me rephrase that. I can, but it is very hard sometimes for me to work on my computer. Unless my computer is sitting right directly on my lap. Because my computer is like, what? How many inches do you think that would be? Huh? How many inches above me do you think my computer is sitting? Two or three. Yeah, that's what I would say. My computer's only a couple inches off of my lap, and... Oh yeah, but see, but see, there's no point in me having the external keyboard, you know, because... I just, I don't need it. There's nothing wrong with my, with my laptop keyboard. So, I don't worry about that. <laughs> Where are you? I have the tower war station, so I can't. Well, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Well, come on, you wouldn't be you if you didn't sit there and be a smart ass every once in a while. <laughs> well, if we could just get the rest of you to be smart and not your ass. Oh, Heather. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Look how tiny that is. That's what she said. That took me a long time to actually get through that. Isn't that crazy? Turn your work and single crochet in the next four stitches. Only four?
it's another bag. It's just, it's a different style. She wanted one style, and I was going to do that for me, but I kind of fell in love with a different style. Let me show you. Let me see if this will work. Sorry for the glare ahead of time. So this is kind of the type of bag that I want, if you can see it up here. I can't bring it down anymore. But that's the one that I want. It's got it's got more texture. Um Here you go. Maybe that'll help. I know it's kind of a funky angle, but I kind of I want you to be able to see Hopefully a little better of the one that I wanted. So no worries. Turn your work and single crochet on each of the next four stitches. I'm only going four stitches. Okay. Okay, so this is still part... This is still row two. Okay. Got it. Got it. How they have that pattern is a little... Funky! So now we're making... Strap holes. Skip the fifth stitch and single crochet in the next 38. Okay, I got gotcha. you. One. Two. There you go.
That's an interesting stitch. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! Yeah, but watch what you do. It's like, wow! No offense, it almost looks like a Tunisian. Almost. Almost! That's like pretty! I don't think you're leaving five stitches on work. That would be... Oh, no, 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 no. I get what they're saying. Oh, my God. Okay. I've kind of lost count, but it looks all good. One, two, three, four, five. So I have two more. I know. I see what they're saying. Oh my god. What? What is that? Blueberry cheesecake buns. It's like. Oh god, that looks good. Oh my All right, round three. I will save so much time by not putting a tag in the first place. Yeah, I don't know. I I used to love camping. I can't do it anymore. I loved hiking too. I just wish I could do it. If you follow this as is, you will end up with two holes at both ends of the work. Yes, I do have that. Make one. T chain turn your work and single crochet in every stitch so do i so do i i used to go camping every year and i loved it yeah yeah i have not been able to go camping myself so i totally get it if you follow this as is, you will have two holes at both ends and work. Yeah, because then I would go like this, and they should line up here and here. Woohoo! Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I loved camping. I loved hiking. It's 
So the way that this girl wrote the pattern is kind of funky. What? This arch. It's not a fucked up stitch. Nastasia, yeah, she comes up with, yeah, the smock stitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's cool too. Oh, man. No. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. Oh my god. Um, yes? Uh, yes? I said except for the helping. Okay. See, I didn't say that I didn't like jalapenos. Jalapenos don't like me. Okay, I need to see that. Mm -hmm. The only option would be to get her a phone with real buttons, no touch screen, and it should make it even harder for her to- Yeah. Right? Oh, Probably. Mm -hmm. Give me a little. I do want to see if I can get at least through The slip stitch. Lots of things. See, this one is so much different than Heather's bag. And oh my god, I love it. I would love to sit there and actually have like a leather tie on this. Those are cute. Those are... I would not those. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Yeah, they do look good. You okay? Yeah. What's wrong, baby? I just have like pressure on my head. Have you taken anything? Have you drank water? No. Alright. Try to get some water in. Yeah.
so much different. Slip stitch in each. Ooh, I hate. I hate doing those. I really do. Because if you do them too tight. Mm, yeah. One. Two. You could really, really throw off all of your work if, if you do them too tight. Sadly, I have no idea what that means. I sadly don't understand a lot of the computer talk. Or tech talk, I should say. Oh! Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. All right, got it. Next row, in the slip stitch. Pick up back loop and work single. Oh, I can't, I can't blame you, but you know what, you know what, Zero, when it comes down to that, to not overstringing somebody, it, it's inevitable, you're, you're going to, it's just going to happen. Um, honestly, pick a time that works for you and do it that way. Figure out who you're willing to overstream and who you're not, if that makes sense. It really is. Oh yeah, no, I I totally get that. It is hard. But with so many of us streaming, you know, you unfortunately you just have to uh pick and choose and do what's best for you. Because it'll be impossible not to stream over somebody else. Oh, 
Oh, for sure. For sure. Like I said, pick a time that works for you. Hey, babe, let's get dinner, please. Okay. Oh, for sure. Like I said, you can only do what you can do. Dude, that would be awesome. Oh my god, don't you hate it when you have a song in your head and you can't get it out? It's a dang good song too though. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Well, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. It might be easier to see once uh, I actually have more on this. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can really see what is going on. Mm. 
Yeah, I didn't think so. So if you look right here, there is a ridge right there. I don't know if maybe going to the side would help or what. Because see, there's not much after this right now. I'm going to have to like repeat everything that I just did. Um, probably just to really make it pop out more. But yeah, this is just the beginning of my bag. So when I'm done, I will have it folded. So that's a decent size, I think. I think that's a decent size. Yeah. Looks good to me. So, compared to Heather's, that should, that should work up pretty well. For everything that we want to put in here, I think this is definitely big enough. So again, here's Heather's. Once we get the uh, the ties, you know, the stuff to tie it, or the beads for the ties, it'll probably come in like this to uh, do all that. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and say good night for now. I really do appreciate you guys coming in. Um, I've had a blast, even though it took me a lot longer to get Heather's done. But, you know, we fooled around, talked about some diamond painting, we did, you know, a bunch of stuff, so, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for coming in. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and if I don't see you this week, be safe, have a good one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.